Hello everybody and welcome to another FA2 video. Um, it's been a while since my last mini update and uh, I thought everything was going to go back to normal in my life at that point but it took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, but we're back. Um, so what's happened since last time? Um, in short I haven't got as much time as I wanted to to work on this. Um, I did get some stuff done though. As you can see we have ships um, launching and, and flying around our asteroid now but that's probably not actually the biggest thing that's changed or it might be kind of visually um, what actually happened was while I was playing some old fragile allegiance and having a look at this at the same time I realized that having ships orbiting the asteroid in their entirety was kind of utterly pointless um, the main problem was like they were spending about three quarters of their time not actually over your uh, your base where you build things. So I've kind of cut the whole orbiting an asteroid thing out and kind of gone from, it's still an asteroid, but you don't zoom out to have a look around the whole thing anymore. You're now stuck to um, like the original, the area where there's actually buildings. Uh, I hope that's okay with everyone because that's just how it's done. Um, we also have scrapped the physics-based flight system, although I'm not sure if I talked about that in the last one. Um, the idea behind that was we were gonna use Unity's physics for the flight uh, to make everything look a bit more natural. Um, kind of the opposite thing happened really when I was trying that. We had thrusters, individual thrusters that also could be damaged, uh, which would make a ship crash if it like lost some on one side and things like that. But it was all getting very complicated um, and taking a lot of time up, which in reality didn't need to be done. I don't think it added anything particularly amazing to the game at this stage. Um, maybe it will make a comeback, but I'm quite a fan of the system we've got here now. It's very simple um, and the more important thing is it's going to be pretty easy to get multiplayer to um, to work with it uh, rather than the Unity's standard physics stuff. Um, so yeah, this is what we have now here. Um, this is their current like kind of idle. Uh, so you launch your ships um, and then exactly like the original you see them kind of flopping around doing their own thing uh, and then they get a bit angrier when there's combat. I haven't really figured out how we're going to do the combat yet. So these currently have kind of uh, targets which they fly towards. Um, so it's quite easy to get them to kind of follow a trail. Uh, so it might be that they kind of pick random opponents when others come in to, uh, onto the actual asteroid and fight. Maybe that'll be how we do it. It may get a bit more complicated. We're going to see. Um, but for, for now, it, this is working and I'm relatively happy with it. I know nothing looks particularly amazing at the moment and I need to do a kind of a beauty pass and everything, but uh, we'll definitely get to that. So anything else actually? Uh, they, it does work when you send them off to other asteroids and stuff, but more on that in a minute. Um, what I'm planning on doing next, and this is going to be a big one, I hope, um, is actually kind of working on the actual gameplay loop. So. At the moment, there's lo lots of systems that work, but don't work particularly well with each other. Um, so although if I send a ship over here to scout off, um, it does kind of lead the asteroid. It doesn't have like the animation of flying off. It doesn't have the animation of returning. Um, and the same as you can't actually look at other asteroids at the moment. It's really easy to implement. It's just I've been incredibly lazy about how I've done this. So uh, these are obviously physical objects, the asteroids themselves. Um, and to save my terrible laptop from dealing with having multiple of them around, I've kind of just cheated and the other ones are mostly just empty space nothingness. Um, so I need to populate them with, with actual the ability to build on them. Um, and the gameplay loop I'm hoping is what we're going to have is we're going to have obviously your starter asteroid, which you're going to need to build buildings to keep people alive on. You're going to need to mine to generate resources. So these are all things we already have, but the new new aspect is going to be, you're going to have to use those resources to build ships. We're going to leave money out for the time being. It's just going to be the, the mined resources, although money would be easy to implement, but I haven't decided how we're going to balance that out yet. So we're going to have, you use just the mined resources to build these, the scout ships, the colony ships and so forth. Um, then I want you to be able to send the colony ship over to another uh, another asteroid, um, build your uh, another one there, and be able to send ships to and from the other ones. Um, and one of the key components I'm going to have to fix before we do that as well is figure out how to do UI in Unity. <laughs> uh, 
As you can see, it's terrible. Every single time I open Unity, I swear it gets worse somehow. Um, I think what happens is the canvas size changes when I use the ultra-wide monitor, but it also tries to size it based on the laptop screen. I really don't know what's going on here, um, but I'm going to scrap probably most of what this is here. Uh, it wasn't didn't take long to put this together um, and try and do something that's a bit more usable uh, and looks slightly better. I'm not going to go mad because it'll almost certainly be redesigned in the future, but definitely we're going to have to have some UI elements for first off for building. Um, just randomly clicking buttons isn't isn't going to count anymore. Like I know this is for testing purposes, but it, it's time we kind of ditch the the hacked in stuff here and kind of go for more some some actual gameplay. Um, and although some things work, like the building menu does ha happen, um, where's our asteroid gone? Another exciting bug, I think it's fallen off the screen so it needs to um, reappear up here, which it probably has done, it's just that the resolution is messed up. There's lots of like bits that need to be done for the game to work, so that's what I'm going to be focused on next. And I hope what I can do for the next video is kind of, as I said, uh, a kind of from start to us building a colony, um, maybe even with states of actual building, so I'm not placing down stuff instantly, it takes time to build. Um, we're building ships, we're sending ships to a, a between two asteroids, um, and then after that what we could do is we can actually start doing some combat, which I think is probably the coolest thing about it. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all looking forward to that, as I am, um, and thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts or anything like that about uh, the fact that we've moved from the kind of the whole 3D asteroid. I mean, I did have some cool ideas for it where like the larger ships, like you could disable them, they might crash on the other side of the asteroid and you, you might have to have like specialist, specialized buildings that could send like drones over to try and collect scrap from it. I don't know. It's all, it's all too far in the future and, and really I need to be focusing on, um, actually there being a game at the moment. Um, so yeah. Uh, give me any shouts in the comments if you have any ideas of some stuff that I can add that would be easy. Uh, if not, I will all see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.